what Infinite Crisis has done is taken the multiverse and put it in this insane world where a player comes in and creates their own army, um, utilizing characters from across these different Earths. And it really brings the the concept of the multiverse to, I think, the pinnacle. Like, the, it's the most epic thing that could ever happen with the multiverse is that armies from throughout the different parallel Earths are getting together and battling one another. The technology in games has now reached a point where it can provide a very visceral, immersive experience for someone that's into this kind of content and allowing you to almost feel like you're a superhero in the game itself. I think it was a huge jump for the medium and I think that's why people gravitate towards it. Turbine's been working on games online that bring players together for over a decade now. MOBA felt like the next logical step for us, you know, kind of got us back to our roots doing competitive play. You know, AC1 Ashron's Call was all about PvP. In the very beginning of thinking about making this game, we had a few simple but uh, lofty goals. You know, how can we take the DC franchise um, in a game to a place that it hasn't been before. You know, how can we open up kind of the possibilities there and show players things that maybe they haven't seen before in the DC Universe? The DC Universe is great for this game because it really puts no limits on what we can or, or can't do. You know, in other established sort of stories, there are sort of rules that you don't want to break uh, for the characters. The good guys and bad guys don't mix. For me personally, DC is kind of the dream setting for this project because uh, one of my favorite characters of all time is Green Lantern. When we worked on this game, we actually showed it to people. It is the ultimate example of iconic characters brought to life in ways that are relevant to people, in ways that actually mean something to people, in ways that actually just resonate. It really gets down to the heart of competitive play. We've been able to hone our engine and everything surrounding it to get to the point where responsiveness is really, really crisp. Players are able to compete you know, at a high level of skill. Uh, one of the things that we introduced was uh, this idea of sort of uh, dynamic destruction of the environment, and a lot of which is, it definitely makes you feel super heroic when Gaslight Batman shoots his, you know, ultimate skill all the way across uh, the map and you just see it, you know, a trail of destruction as all these like mausoleums and things are being shattered. On top of that, there are these catastrophic events that can actually dramatically affect the outcome. We've been living in this, uh, this crazy infinite crisis world for quite some time now, just amongst ourselves. It's been awesome seeing players get involved and really start taking over this game. And uh, we hope everyone's having as much fun playing it as we've had building it. And we're not done yet, we're just getting started.